What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Dell Inspiron 2350 All-in-One Desktop. The fusion of monitor and computer into one unit means that computer manufacturers can offer consumers a lot of unique features for their new machine. We're talking about things like silent running systems and touchscreen functionality, but it also means that these computers can be thinner and lighter than ever before. Dell claims that the Inspiron 2350 happens to be the world's thinnest 23-inch all-in-one system, but it also happens to be one of the most flexible all-in-ones on the market today. Here's what we thought about this wafer-thin computer. The Inspiron that we reviewed was powered by a fourth-generation Intel Core i7-4700 MQ processor running at 2.4 GHz that could be boosted up to 3.4 GHz via turbo. It came with 12 GB of RAM and was supplemented by an AMD Radeon HD 8690A video card with 2 GB of video RAM. It also packed a 1TB hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM and a 32 GB solid state drive cache, as well as a 23-inch WLED backlit touch display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 it also packed Windows 8 Pro, four USB 3.0 ports, and two USB 2.0 ports, as well as HDMI input and outputs, full Wi-Fi support, and Bluetooth 4.0. We were impressed by the build quality of the Inspiron 2350 as soon as we pulled it out of the box. The machine only weighs 16 pounds, so unlike some all-in-ones that can be a bit unwieldy when you're bringing it from room to room, this is a machine that's easy to carry around the house, but is also designed to put up with significant use and abuse. The base of the machine is a solid one, which prevents wobble, while the hinge of the panel requires force to adjust the screen, meaning that you won't have to worry about the screen shifting or tilting over time, or with frequent touchscreen use. Speaking of the screen angle, we were really struck by the crisp nature of the 23-inch touchscreen. Not only is it a brilliant display that produces sharp, bright colors, but the arm for the display adjusts from 90 to 180 degrees, allowing you to shift anywhere between vertical and horizontal gaming. This means that the system is perfect for any tabletop computing or gaming that you might be interested in, and will be great assuming that that feature actually takes off. We were also impressed by the performance of the system as well. For instance, Dell paired a 7200 RPM terabyte hard drive with a 32 gigabyte solid state drive as a cache to speed up performance, meaning that you get plenty of space for the computer, but you also get fast boots and quick program loads for anything that you might run. We also like the fact that the computer came with four USB 3.0 ports as well as two USB 2.0 ports, one of which is occupied by a mini USB dongle for the wireless keyboard and mouse. Although we suspect that Logitech may have made the peripherals for Dell, nevertheless, the devices are excellent when it comes to taking advantage of the ports for the system while also leaving plenty of super speed ports for other add-ons. Something that was a bit surprising was the fact that the Inspiron 2350 was pretty easy to service. Most OEMs make all-in-ones difficult to impossible to service and repair with either proprietary parts or making it virtually impossible to access the internal parts of the system. Not only can you easily open up the system with a screwdriver, Dell even provides step-by-step -step directions in the online user manual about how you can replace a lot of parts, which is extremely appreciated. On top of this, the computer is extremely quiet when it runs, which is what you'd like to have from an all-in-one instead of having to worry about the constant whir of fans and hard drive platters. The Inspiron 2350 still came with some elements that could have been improved upon, like the subpar speakers. If you've got anything relying upon audio, like presentations or video conferencing, or if you're a music fan, the speakers can best be described as subpar. They're loud, but they don't have any low range or bass whatsoever. As a result, you'll find them to be quite tinny and thin sounding. Another point is that if you still use optical discs instead of relying solely upon digital means, you won't find an optical drive on the system. So forget using your old movie or music collection on this machine unless you purchase an external optical drive as an accessory. Finally, the other downside of the machine is that it really isn't suited to gaming even with the discrete graphics card. The all-in-one isn't particularly made to be a gaming machine, although if you tone down the visual quality settings, you can still get a decent number of games to play. That does mean, however, that you won't enjoy any kind of visual punch or impact from any AAA games whatsoever, because it simply won't support that. We were quite impressed by the Inspiron 2350, which benefited from the strength of the Haswell processor and the brilliance of the screen, which was flexible and responsive. 
Couple this with the easy to service hardware, which really can't be said for most all-in-ones, and the claim to the title of the world's thinnest 23-inch all-in-one system, and you have a very striking computer indeed. Now, this particular configuration may seem a bit pricey at $1,400, but you're getting a quality machine with strong performance all around, unless you're into hardcore gaming. For these reasons, we decided to give the Dell Inspiron 2350 All-in-One Desktop a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on desktops like the Dell Inspiron 2350 All-in-One Desktop, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash Dell. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.